In this video, we're going to cover adding edibles into our inventory. Let's select the plus symbol at the top right of the page. This will bring up our Add New Inventory Item window. As you can see, our default category is going to be Bulk Flour. Let's start by clicking on the Bulk Flour and selecting Edibles from the drop-down. All of the fields we see in this window with the asterisk are going to be required to be filled out before we can add these edibles into our inventory. The first required field is our package tag number. If you are in a metric state, this will be required for reporting your sales to metric. If you're not in a metric state, we can leave this field blank. In this case, I'm going to add a package tag into this field. Now let's add our batch number and our batch date. Next, we're going to associate a supplier license with this item. When I select the supplier license, we'll see that we have a couple of options for which supplier. If we don't see the supplier we're looking for initially, begin typing the name in to populate that specific supplier. Next, we're going to select our product name. Flowhub will display the product names in your edibles category. Now, if we don't initially see our product name, we can begin typing out the product name we created in phase two. As you can see, once that product name has been selected, our price and cost will populate. Once these fields have been added, we're going to add our expiration date. Lastly, we're going to add the quantity and room we want to assign this to. Now let's select Save and Close and we'll see this item populate in our inventory. If you're not seeing the item, make sure to select the Status All filter at the top of the page and select the In-Store option from the drop-down. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page, filled in the required fields, associated a quantity, and added an item into our inventory. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to Done. If you need help, click the Stuck button in your email or at Mention Us in the notes of this task.